my name is H.A. Pruitt and I'm the author of Anathalian and the second book in the Anathalian series, Earthquaking. And in this video, I'm going to do a book review. And it's not going to be a long one because it's a book in a series and it's one of the later books, but I still wanted to do a review because it's really good. And because if you read a book, review the book, any book, whether it's early in a series, later in a series, whether you've already told the author you love their other books, please review a book if you read a book please review all the books you read it's so helpful to authors and it helps potential readers know if they want to read a book they potential buyers believe other buyers more than the author because the author is always going to say that the book is fantastic and you should read it so the book i'm going to review today is called the wizard's goddess by dm sontag and so the wizard's goddess is a novella and she's got well she doesn't have the third one out yet but it's coming soon she has two books out so far, The Lightning Bride and The Golden Wolf, and they are in the Kingdom Isles series. And then the third one's going to be The Forest Air, and it's going to come out before too long. I don't know when exactly. And then she has the backstory of that main story of the Kingdom Isles. She has the backstory in The Mermaid's Shadow and in The Wizard's Goddess. There might be another one that I'm forgetting. Okay, so I'll put it down in the description if I'm forgetting one. I'm doing this from my memory. Um, so she has the main story and then she has the backstory. And The Wizard's Goddess is one of the backstories. Um, and it is the backstory of Farron's parents. The Golden Wolf, the main character is Farron. And this is his parents' story in The Wizard's Goddess. And so if you haven't read The Lightning Bride and then The Golden Wolf and then The Mermaid's Shadow, then please go and watch my other video I did for those books. Watch my book review for that. I'll put that down in the description. So you can watch that and you can see if you want to read those books and then um, read this book because it's that, that's the order. The Lightning Bride and then The Mermaid's Shadow, The Golden Wolf, and then The Wizard's Goddess. Um, and then The Forest Air is not out yet, but it's coming. So. Yeah, that's a long explanation, but I hope that all made sense. So look in the description for the other book review video, and that's really fun. Please watch the bloopers, too. The bloopers on that one were great. My husband helped me, and he's a riot. Um, so the this video is about the Wizard's Goddess. So I'm not going to tell you a lot, but I am going to tell you um, that I liked it. I liked the book. DM Sontag is a great author. I feel like her books are always so well written and they just they get you you can just see what's happening see what's going on the characters what whether or not they're supposed to be um good or bad people they're just all so lovable um even the main male character in the wizard's goddess even though he's not painted in a very good light in the other books you still can't help but like him in this book i was i was going into it thinking i won't like him because i don't like him in other places but i did like him um, I don't want to elaborate because if you know, you know, and if you don't know, I don't want to give it away. So yeah, I was surprised how much I liked him. I did like him a lot. Um, and so I really enjoyed it and I just, I really enjoyed discovering more of the complex backstory. The story that DM Sontag has woven throughout all these books is really complex and detailed. And it's so interesting and mysterious and everybody's connected and it's just it's just really awesome to learn more about the story. I really enjoyed learning about the story. My only like downside of this book is it's a novella and it's short and it's meant to be like that but I just wanted more of the backstory and I just wanted to learn more about Farron's parents and their relationship like um it kind of happened fast how they met each other and got together and then it like fast forwarded to the important stuff. So it like fast forwarded through a bunch of the maybe more getting to really know each other and kind of figuring out one another. And so I wanted more of that, but I totally understand why that wasn't there because it's not meant to be like just their story. It's meant to focus more on how their story connects to Farron and Maylee and the main story. But I wish these novellas that she wrote with them were full books because I just love them so much. Um, and the story was really beautiful and really sad. I'm not a big romance person, but 
like how DM Sontag writes romance, she makes me a romance lover. Um, Maylee and Farron's romance is just, it's so realistic. A lot of the times in books people speed it along and that just makes me like roll my eyes like nobody falls in love instantly. But just how she writes romance. This romance was kind of fast but it was also believable just because of the characters and everything going on. It was just believable. And so I just really loved it a lot. It was believable and it was sad um, in a really good way. It was sad. I liked knowing what happened. You kind of know what's going to happen if you read the main books and you kind of don't know what's going to happen. And so I kind of knew and I was sad about what was going to happen and I still thought maybe it won't happen that way, but it did and it was just so sad. It's just so sad. It's so sad. And I like read it when I was, okay, I'm not going to say that. I'll, I'll tell her in a message. I'll tell the author in a message why it made me even more sad, but I won't tell you because I don't want to give it away. Um, and so it just made me love the characters even more, even the characters that you're not supposed to love. It made me love them even more. And so I just love all the characters more because of it. So if you haven't read Dean Sontag's Kingdom Isle series, read it. It's a great series. It's a great book. It kind of has like Pirates of the Caribbean feel, just like this huge vast world and they're sailing everywhere and you just adventure after adventure. But it's also got this like really complex, deep backstory where everybody's interconnected and it's just fascinating to keep learning more. Her world is so cool. Um, yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean is the one thing that it's like a lot like if you really like that kind of vibe, as they say, you'll really love these books. So read her main books, watch the review I did for all the other books in her series. That's in the description below. And um, you can find all her books on Amazon and you can find her on Instagram. Um, I will put her handle right up by me because I can't think of it off the top of my head. But her name is Zim Sontag. Look her up, follow her on Instagram, on Facebook, wherever you follow authors, follow her. She's really great. Um, so that is my book review. I hope it makes you want to read her books. And please, uh-oh, we're going to spit up. Please comment, please like, please subscribe, please do all the things that you do to YouTube videos. We got to go. Bye. If you want to know more about Anna Thalian or H.A. Pruitt, please follow me on Instagram at H.A. Pruitt. You can find me on Amazon as an Amazon author, H.A. Pruitt. Please watch my YouTube channel and all my cool videos on my channel, H.A. Pruitt Anna Thalian. You can find me on the Facebook page, H.A. Pruitt Anna Thalian. You can follow me on Goodreads by the name H.A. Pruitt and the book Anna Thalian, or you can go to my website where so much cool stuff about Anna Thalian is. The website is hapruitt.com. Oh my goodness me. Don't fall, baby. Plop. Okay. Do you want to be seen? Do you want to be seen? Get on up here. Okie dokie.